originals episode 11 dance back from the grave so after the end of the harvest where you know basically Davina was you know eventually killed off and her power was released into the air we found out that you know four witches who were not the four girls were brought back to life and in this episode we got to see basically the profile of one of the witches brought back to life and he was actually a warlock he was the only actual guy who was brought back to life and this guy you know he comes in he has like this nice suit and stuff he's an insanely powerful character and i really thought his character was interesting and one of the best things about this episode that i thought was actually a pretty cool twist is the fact that in the end he does actually sacrifice himself to celeste and it made it a little bit cooler because initially i thought he escaped so he'd come back you know with the other witches and it would sort of be an all-out you know battle because the witches are obviously really powerful so one witch if they are powerful enough can take on multiple vampires or you know even the originals so you know four very powerful witches could take on all of the vampires and i thought you know eventually it'll lead to that some really insane battle but instead he ends up sacrificing himself at the end and it gave me that feeling like it just you know something so crazy is going to happen that's you know far beyond this character that he even sacrificed himself and obviously this guy is incredibly powerful because he can technically capture any person and gain their abilities like he captured rebecca early on and he couldn't die and it was like you know that's an infinite thing because technically she can't die so it was really interesting that a character that is so powerful you know he took all the witches out of um the tomb or the garden and even after that he had the knife and he sacrificed himself to celeste so all of that power is in that knife and it just makes me wonder you know what in the world is she gonna do you know what insane power is she gonna have and you know what are they gonna do with it and something else they mentioned and they kind of hinted it i don't know if they're actually gonna do it but i think they will just because they hinted it is that you know when sophie you know talks to marcel and klaus about how the harvest basically you know the power that was supposed to resurrect the girls and kind of spread out into the earth and you know give all the witches sort of their renewed power how that power was basically stolen marcel kind of you know dropped it in like well maybe if we get that power back we can you know bring davina back to life and they kind of threw that in really quick and of course klaus was like well you know who cares about you know the girl who died i have a, you know an enemy who's really powerful coming after me but i think they you know threw that in to kind of give us hope that davina could eventually come back into the series and she could you know be brought back to life and maybe even at the end of the season she does end up coming back to life along with the other three girls and obviously that would be cool because sophie clearly has a huge connection considering her niece is one of the girls that wasn't brought back to life so i'm excited to see if they actually go that route but if they do i think it won't happen until the very end and it'll be kind of when celeste is incredibly powerful and they'll kind of kill her off and then the power will kind of just dissipate because it won't just die it'll just you know transfer like energy or something like kinetic potential so i'm excited for that but in just the span of this episode i thought it was really cool how you know they have this character who comes back to life who is you know a real big threat in the past and you know they have the flashback scenes where klaus and elijah are kind of dealing with this werewolf mob and then this guy comes in and he's pretty much the first person to be a faction leader for the witches and instead of him kind of talking up with elijah he goes on a rampage and kills everyone more like klaus would so you know klaus does what he has to do and he kills the two twin boys and you know he did that because he figured out you know what is this power how does he work and you know things like that and it was really cool to kind of get that insight from marcel when he was um talking to cammy and i thought that was pretty cool how they just you know how they showed him and it was typical klaus stuff but it was kind of cool because we didn't really get to see that too much i don't at least i not that i can recall if we ever seen that even in the vampire diaries where he kind of befriends people it's more like you know he's doing that now then you already know exactly what his plan is and even though we do you know in that time you know we get it from ourselves viewpoint like i don't know why he was being so friendly to this guy and then i figured out it was because 
you know, he was trying to get to know him and see what his weaknesses were, even though it seemed like he was just befriending him. So it was cool to have them have that confrontation. And one of my favorite things about this was the flashback, because in the end, what they did, which kind of ties into the beginning of the episode, was Celeste standing in front of, like, the large tomb with all the different names, which are basically her different incarnations. This was, like, her, I guess technically her second incarnation. And they kind of led into a story that's kind of bound in the past where we kind of know the outcome where basically it didn't work and, you know, Marcel and Rebecca don't end up together. But it was an interesting story because it's about Rebecca's father. So I think we'll get to see him at least in the past, but we'll get to see him and how Rebecca and Marcel ended up working with Celeste, you know, a long time ago. And I'm sure that that'll of course tie into you know the present time and she'll kind of reveal that to them in some way or she'll use it you know possibly against them you know for Klaus and say like you know I know you don't know this but like hundreds of years ago you know they were they did this or not hundreds but like 100 years ago or less than that but you know they did this and they were trying to you know kill you off because they wanted to be together so, you know, even that could come up, but I thought it was a really cool prospect for them to kind of introduce a new storyline that's actually in the past. So we technically, like I said, know the outcome, but it's, you know, more about the journey in this case. And so I'm definitely excited for that. And, you know, some of the other stuff, definitely curious to see if some of the vampires who left Klaus when he kind of gave him that ultimatum, mostly the one that the guy that Rebecca was working with. I'm curious to see, you know, will they end up working with the witches, which I highly doubt. But, you know, maybe that one specific character, since he actually has a name and speaking lines, maybe he'll have some interesting role now that he's kind of off on his own, like some of the other vampires who left. And I'm curious to see if he kind of goes rogue and, you know, like I said, picks up with the witches or, you know, learns some secret and then tells Klaus or tells somebody else and then, you know, it kind of brings things to a head. But I'm definitely excited to see where the story goes now. And I'm, I definitely can't wait, you know, for the next two weeks because hopefully the episodes will be on the other two witches and, you know, we'll incorporate some of the past sections with Celeste and um, Marcel and Rebecca. But ultimately, love this episode. Love the guy that they had in. It sucks that he died because, like I said, I thought his character had a ton of potential with the fact that he could just capture anyone. But they kind of hit the peak when he captured Rebecca in the episode. So it kind of made sense. Like, you know, it kind of showed who he could catch. He caught an original. He's, you know, immortal until they basically took her out of the spell. But, you know, he sacrificed himself. So I'm really excited to see what could possibly be beyond a guy who could, you know, channel the powers of an original. So excited for that. Definitely let me know what you guys saw this episode. Favorite parts. Least favorite parts. And, you know, with the new witches being resurrected, what do you guys think is going to be the greatest challenge, you know, for Klaus and everyone else? Do you guys think it's going to be an enemy that does survive, or do you guys think it'll be them, you know, kind of sacrificing themselves to Celeste? You know, will it be her or, you know, them kind of in their own little episodes just killing people off? Comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.